Now, we all know throughout the history of professional wrestling, there's been a lot of stupid things that have happened, a lot of stupid things that have been said. That goes for the past and, honestly, the present. And a lot of these things just get to me and they anger me and, frankly, piss me off. So I figured, new year, let's start a new video series. I'm going to call it Wrestling with Stupidity. Random periods of time, I'm going to tackle a topic, whether it's something related to professional wrestling of the past, maybe myths and urban legends and so on and so forth, or just dumb narratives that have been perpetuated and advanced over the years. Sometimes it's going to be something pertaining to the current uh, professional wrestling business as well. Uh, when I get ready to do these videos, sometimes I may even ask for suggestions for topics. Isn't that awesome? But I wanted to kick this series off in a passionate way. So I got the chance to get a topic that would get me riled up this week. So earlier this week, New Japan had their big Wrestle Kingdom 11 show. And the main event was Okada versus Kenny Omega. Frankly, I don't give a shit about New Japan. I don't give a shit about Japanese wrestling in general. And I most certainly don't give a shit about Wrestle Kingdom 11. I just don't. It's just not my flavor. It's not my style. The fans of that product are incredibly fucking annoying. And that's just the way it is. With that said, you don't usually see me come on here and crap on New Japan or Japanese wrestling a whole lot. You really don't. I'll make fun of the fans because y'all deserve to be made fun of. You ought to just see what y'all tweet and what you say. And sometimes we can't take ourselves too seriously. We gotta have some fun. You know, and I'm most certainly no fan of Kenny Omega. It's not to a Jim Cornette hate level. No. It's just, again, not my flavor. Frankly, I just look at him and I think he's another mark for himself and another mark in the freaking business. Um, another moron. But, again, you don't see me doing a whole bunch of stuff tweeting about Kenny Omega and crapping on Kenny Omega. Because, frankly, if it wasn't for the internet, I would have absolutely no freaking clue who the hell Kenny Omega is any damn ways. So it's just not really worth talking about him that much. Or, frankly, to me, talking about New Japan that much. I'm just saying. You know, I knew Wrestle Kingdom 11 when it was going to come around. You know, Twitter was going to be kind of unbearable for the next 24 to 48 hours as the show started because it was going to be one big Dave Meltzer slash wrestling nerd circle jerk where everybody talks about Tanahashi and Takahashi and Naido and Okada. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Again, y'all's thing, y'all can have it. Thank you. But the main event ultimately was Okada versus Kenny Omega. And I can tell a lot of the Meltzer... Uh, New Japan nerds are going to be giggly tits for this one. You could tell. And no, I haven't watched the match. No, I'm not going to watch the match. No, I'm not going to shit on the match because I don't think it's fair for me to shit on something that I ultimately did not watch. Fair enough. I'm sure it was fine for what it was. I'm sure it was great for the type of style that New Japan has and the type of style that those fans like. But I always know when it comes to these type of indie nerd circle jerk fuck fest shows, there's just going to be a lot of dumb hyperbole and just a lot of stupid shit said. Usually not by the wrestling fans themselves, though, um, in terms of the most egregious violations. Typically, it's the wrestlers, the people in the business. They're the biggest idiots. They're the biggest marks. They're the biggest morons. And they say the stupidest crap. And by far... Far when it comes to Wrestle Kingdom 11, the single stupidest thing that I saw that was said about the show or tweeted about the show or anybody's performance was one of the young bucks, excuse me, one of the bucks of suck. I think it was Matt, could have been Nick. Who gives a fuck? Does it really matter? Because whichever one did say it, the other one probably fucking agreed with him and was jerking off to the thought of saying it. They actually tweeted, and I kid you not, they tweeted that, and I quote, Kenny Omega is the best in-ring performer I have ever seen, unquote. Not Kenny Omega is the best in-ring performer today. Not Kenny Omega 
is the best performer on the independent scene. No, no, not Kenny Omega is the best performer in New Japan. No, 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 not Kenny Omega was had the best performance of the night. No, no, no. One of the young bucks, the bucks of suck, in all their infinite stupidity and markdom, literally sat there and tweeted that Kenny Omega is the best in-ring performer they have ever seen. Now, mind you, the Young Bucks, the Bucks of Suck, may not be as old as me, but they would, in theory, have been wrestling fans long enough. They should have been around long enough in terms of the product to have been able to see some really great in-ring performers over the years. You would think. But in all the years that they're watching wrestling and doing flips in the backyard and pretending like they were going to be wrestlers some days that didn't make much money, but it doesn't matter shit because we can flip and we can kick and we can be awesome and the fans will like us and we can carry around big shiny belts and make some belts for ourselves too. That knucklehead just said that, in his opinion, Kenny Omega is a better in-ring performer than a Shawn Michaels, a Bret Hart, a Kurt Angle, and Eddie Guerrero. You know, I'll even keep out the names like Savage, Steamboat, and Flair because maybe they weren't old enough to see those guys in their peak. That's fine. But this is just ridiculous. It's so incredibly fucking stupid. This is the type of dumb bullshit that a caught-up-in-the-moment Mark would fucking say. And that's why one of the Young Bucks would say it. Because they were a caught-up-in-the-moment fucking Mark. And that's why the goddamn U.S. wrestling business absolutely fucking sucks now. is because of idiots like this getting into the business and ultimately evolving and changing the business in a very negative way. Of all the people that we would have seen in terms of in-ring performers over the past 20 plus years, you're going to tell me Kenny Omega is better than all the names that I just mentioned, specifically Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, Kurt Angle, and Eddie Guerrero. Just to name a few. Not even mentioning all the Japanese guys, including the Japanese guys that are currently there. Like what, Tanahashi Okada? You're telling me Kenny Omega is better than all the Japanese guys over the past 20 years? You're telling me he's better than CM Punk? Better than Daniel Bryan? Dead, better than AJ Styles? I mean, who says this shit? Yes, I realize opinions are like assholes and everybody has one. But opinions can be stupid and opinions can be fucking wrong. If somebody says to you, well, in my opinion... Guys should be able to have sex with whoever they want, whenever they want, and that's just the way it should be. That's their opinion, but it's stupid and it's fucking wrong, and they deserve to be called to task for how stupid and idiotic that statement was. The Bucks of Suck. One of the members, and I group them together because if one thinks it, surely the other knucklehead fucking thinks it, thinks that Kenny Omega is a better in-ring performer all time than guys like Kurt Angle, Bret Hart, AJ Styles, Shawn Michaels, and Daniel Bryan. I'm not even a huge Bret Hart fan, but you're going to tell me Bret Hart pales in comparison to Kenny Omega? How fucking stupid can you be? Bret Hart would give this comment a negative 400 stars out of 10. Holy Jesus Christ! And even over the Japanese guys. I mean, I get trying to hype up the product and pump up the product, but this is that WWE level of propaganda cell that people resent. And I hope nobody buys into this bullshit. Nobody believes this bullshit. If you really think that Kenny Omega is the best in-ring performer in professional wrestling history, please stop ever watching wrestling. Please never comment on wrestling. Never tweet about wrestling, never post about wrestling again, because the business is in a bad enough way without fucking knuckleheads like you ruining the shit because of ding-dong dumb dick fucking ideas like this one. It's just another stupid ass statement by a stupid ass Mark. For years you had all the wrestlers talk shit to you as fans, talking about how you're the Marks and the Smarks and all this other dumb shit. No, the only Marks and Smarks fucking left are the wrestlers and the people involved in the fucking business. Period. 
Nobody whines more than those people. Nobody bitches and complains more than those people. Nobody gets more butt hurt than those people. And nobody says more idiotic, stupid, caught up in the bullshit moment type of crap than the wrestlers and the people in the wrestling business. And we all know this is true. And then when we look at just the statement itself, Kenny Omega is the best in-ring performer I've ever seen. What the fuck would these two no-selling, no-money-drawing spot monkeys fucking know about great in-ring performers? When they put on great in-ring performances, let me fucking know. And no flipping and kicking and no-selling is not fucking a great performance. You want to watch this shit? Go do jiu-jitsu. Go watch fucking karate. That's not professional wrestling. Not what professional wrestling is supposed to be. And not the type of professional wrestling that actually makes money. It just isn't. And then even talking about the, the whole way of, oh, Kenny Omega, talking about how great his performance is. Where is even the attempt at any type of illusion of trying to keep up any type of story? I know it's the Young Bucks, the Bucks of Suck, so we're expecting them to tell any type of fucking story is a major stretch. Why the fuck would you want to do that? We'll just carry around a bunch of titles, including one we made for ourselves, not because we're using that as a way to try and really get ourselves massively over to get ourselves some heat to where we can actually make money, but because we're that much of a fucking mark for ourselves that we just want to have all those titles and carry them around because it's fucking fun to do. Who's the best in ring performer? I mean, what the fuck? It's one thing if fans say this shit, but the fucking wrestlers have started getting on this shit over the years, and they're worse about it. This is ridiculous, and this is a perfect example, among many other things, of why the U.S. wrestling business is the absolute shit. And don't sit there and give me this lousy crap about the bucks of suck being a part of this big show in Wrestle Kingdom 11 in New Japan and Tokyo, Japan, in front of 50-plus thousand people. These assholes aren't drawing anybody to the fucking arena. The Japanese wrestlers are. Because I guarantee you, if the Young Bucks and some of these other guys, even the Kenny Omegas and the Cody Rhodeses and the so on and so forth, if you built a show here in the U.S., let's say in New York City, around these guys, they'd be lucky to fill up the Hammerstein Ballroom. Period. Oh, the Bucks draw a bunch of money? Well, if they did, why don't they do it here? Why can't they fill up big arenas? Egg fucking exactly. Shut the fuck up. Maybe, just maybe, somebody would have trained them right. Maybe, just maybe, if they weren't idiotic marks for them fucking selves, maybe, just maybe, if they actually learned how to work, instead of just flipping and kicking and no-selling and making the shit look stupid and phonier than it ever fucking has been, you know, maybe there'd be somebody to take seriously. These fucking hardy boy ripoffs. On their best day, they can't measure up to a fifth of the hardy boys on the hardy boys' worst day. And at the end of the day, what really bothers us about, about this for me is that these are guys with like 100,000 plus Twitter followers. So there is a sizable portion of wrestling fans that apparently like these guys and take these guys seriously. And it really concerns me when they tweet out absolute driveling horseshit like this, that other people are going to buy into this and other people are going to believe in this shit too. You know, I expect people that should know better to fucking know better. It should be, in theory, the people in wrestling teaching the people outside of wrestling about wrestling, not fucking vice versa. The Young Bucks are fucking stupid. That's why I call them the Bucks of Suck, is because of dumb shit statements like this. If you like Kenny Omega, fine. If you enjoyed New Japan professional wrestling, great. If you enjoyed Wrestle Kingdom 11, good for you. I really don't fucking care. But don't sit there and try to sell me on a bunch of these spot monkeys like the Young Bucks and fucking Kenny Omega being fucking great. Furthermore, even if you enjoy Kenny Omega, again, I don't care about that. But to sit there and say that he's the greatest in-ring performer you've ever seen, that either means A, you have no appreciation for the history of the business, or B, you have no fucking clue what great in-ring performers are. Kenny Omega is better than guys like AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, Kurt Angle, Eddie Guerrero. This is what I have to deal with all the time. 
And this is the type of stupidity that I'm trying to wrestle out of professional wrestling because it needs to get the fuck out.